Hi, this is Simon Sims. We're at the Sundance Film Festival. I am with one of the hottest directors here at the Film Festival. His documentary is getting all the buzz. All the deal makers are surrounding this guy. Uh, I'd like you guys to meet Evan Kravitz. Um, Evan, tell us the name of your documentary. Asshole Santa. And to give you some background about this film, at first when, when Evan submitted it to Sundance, we didn't take it seriously. But after watching the content, um, it was really a solid film. Uh, tell us a little about your film, Evan. Well, Asshole Santa is really about the, the injustice and the lie that's uh, proliferated around this country every year around Christmas time. It's basically part of the, an extension of the military industrial complex, this whole notion that we've got to go out and buy toys for these kids. So you've got you know, thousands and thousands of children, millions of children around the country that that go to sleep the night before Christmas thinking that Santa, this big, you know, fat guy in a red suit is going to come down and deliver these magical gifts and it's all crap. It's a bunch of bullshit. And it's very traumatic. It's extremely traumatic. In fact, the documentary really stems from my own personal experience as a child and the trauma I went through. I mean, I still feel like I'm, I'm recovering from the trauma. And, uh, you know, it's, I believe it was the, the New England Journal of Medicine, they referred to it as post-traumatic stress Santa syndrome. It's legitimate. It's serious. And, um, and uh, you know, there's not one person on this sidewalk in this street here in Park City that hasn't suffered it. They, they may know it or they may not, but I'm, I'm telling you, it is a huge, huge um, uh, something. It's huge, man. So, Evan, you're going to be very generous with the money you're making from this film. Uh, tell us where, these, where this money is going. Yeah, well, like I said, this movie is going to be huge. I mean, absolutely, and it's going to, you know, so... Uh, but I felt, why should I reap the rewards when we know that there are thousands and thousands of victims walking around every day? They're tiny little people, but they're still people, and it's the children. So what we've decided to do is set up a foundation for the children where we're going to give well over 1% to 2%, somewhere in there, of the, of the benefits to the kids. And where can you go to donate money to this foundation? Absolutely. If you go to assholesanta.com, mm -hmm. you can donate money there directly, or you can go to the um, assholesanta.com foundation for children. Mm -hmm. Well, something like that. Right. Um, and then asshole, I think asshole fucking Santa is still up and running. Dot com. Yeah. yeah. And you had to change that. You, that was the original name of the film before. That's before right. Yeah, yeah. That's, it was actually supposed to be called Asshole Fucking Santa, which is, you know, a little bit more personal the way I feel about it, but uh, you know, Mr. Redford said, you know, drop, drop the F word and you might get in. Cool. Well, hey, Evan, thank you again, uh, assholesanta.com, uh, just like it's spelt right there. Uh, thanks a lot, Evan. Thanks Good so. luck. Thanks. So, what'd you think about Asshole Santa? Uh, it, 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 he's an asshole. That whole movie's an asshole. It was one big giant asshole. It was terrible. Like production-wise or story-wise? No, the production was actually really good. It was really nice. It was really well done. The cinematography was wonderful. The uh, the audience, they were really nice. Uh, I got a hand job from a girl. Uh, she grabbed my popcorn and I had the old... <laughs> Phoebe Herman? Yeah. Yeah, the old dick and the popcorn. Hey, excuse me, sir. How'd you like Asshole Santa? I actually wasn't in the movie. I was just using the bathroom. Wait, let me tell you about this film. It's just the hottest film at Sundance this year called Asshole, Asshole Santa. Santa. Cool. Sounds great. What's it about? It's, um, the, the thing is, it's not, a, uh, it's not a comedy. It's a documentary. Okay. It's about um, what happens to kids when they find out Santa doesn't exist. What? Santa doesn't exist? Yeah. I mean... Get into this hang on. Hang on, man. It exists. My parents always stole. Camera. Get that camera out of my face. So what do you think about Asshole Santa? Oh, it was something else. A movie to be beheld. To be beheld, wow. indeed. I, I made a movie here. Le, Le Pencil. Oh, here at Sundance. Oh, look, The Pencil, here at Sundance. Yeah, we've got one here. screening here at Sundance. Wow, with Nicole Kidman. Nikki Kidman is fantastic in it. Wow, tell, tell us a little about that film. That's getting a lot of buzz here. Yeah, well, uh, it's about the famous uh, artist Jacques Baudin, um, and Nicole Kidman plays opposite him in the movie. And... Uh, you know, his work with pencils. Pencils, he paints with pencils? He was a pencil... Pencil artist. painter. Pencil painter. And he paints on... He, he painted on yeah. pencils or paints yeah. pictures of pencils? P paints with the pencils. And pictures of pencils. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's exciting. It's exciting work. But just working with Gilles Moffet and, and Nicole Kidman, 
it's explosive stuff. Yeah, and I've heard uh, supporting actress Oscar stuff about this film. We're thinking so. We're thinking so. So. And I'm sorry, I haven't seen it, but I've heard a lot about it. Thank you. Yeah, it's fantastic. Check it out. We're giving out some pencils there, of course. Um, and, you know, Nicole's going to be there at the screening, and uh, at least one of them. How did, um, how did Bodon die? I think uh, it's, it's something about his death at the end. That was very I ironic, I read. Yeah, he, he couldn't talk, and he needed his... It's terrible. He, he needed his pills, and the only way he could tell tell this person that was standing there that he needed his pills was to, to write it down and there he didn't have a pencil there, there wasn't a pencil when close he died, by he yeah. tell anybody he's dying. so he died because he didn't have a pencil but it's it's fascinating stuff wow wow that's great congratulations thank you thank you so much hope right. to see you there yeah definitely okay Le Ponceal Le Ponceal here at Sundance we just interviewed the director thank you